in the early 80s, like 80 and 81, we heard about it. There's this disease in San Francisco. At that point, nobody knew anything. We were being told this and that. By uh, 82, 83, 84, was, uh, that was when uh, the glut of it started hitting. HTLV3, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, uh, going on in uh, California. It was, like a, it was like a snowball. It just kept on people, more and more and more people were getting sick. Uh, there was a lot of uh, bigotry and hate towards anybody that you found out or, you know, people would want to uh, shun you or, you know, didn't want you around. They didn't want to use the same glass that you might have used. It was important for us to make sure they felt they had a place they could go. There were periods of time where you had a funeral you could go to pretty much every weekend. Probably through the 80s and early 90s, everybody seemed to be waiting to die. More than a couple times did I have to, like, leave the room because uh, I, I didn't want to cry in front of somebody because I, I'd see them and I'd say, oh my God, how, I didn't know he was that sick, you know? You, you talk about it with your friends, especially uh, people, uh, lovers who survived their lovers who passed. We knew it was gonna happen, my time will be coming pretty soon. You couldn't blame it on any one particular reason why anybody died. It was just, that was how it was and you accepted it. We had the AIDS quilt. That kind of event helped people maybe get over the scare of AIDS a little bit. You know, it was like a giant gay pride uh, uh, rally. It just maybe uh, enticed people to realize they don't have to be afraid to be out and acknowledge that they're gay or they're, they're HIV or they're positive or their, their lover's positive or their lover died of AIDS. You know, the AIDS, as awful as it was, was useful for the um, helping the community come out is all of a sudden these people who otherwise would have stayed in the closet, you know, couldn't. And so people realize, oh, it's my son, it's my nephew, it's my grandparents. AIDS brought about the transformation of gay liberation because everybody, most, most Americans, wound up knowing somebody who had AIDS.